Over the past few years, a hot topic for PSVR has been, can you use your PSVR on PC? And the answer is yes, you can use your PSVR as a PC VR headset with a few steps. So I thought today I would go through the process of what it takes to get the PSVR working on PC, and then let you know whether or not it's worth it to do it in the first place. So let's get into it. The most popular method I've heard about since the PSVR's launch is a software called Trinus VR. Before I had a PC VR headset, I actually tried out this software for myself, but I vaguely remember giving up out of confusion. But I was younger then, so I figured maybe this time I could get things working. First of all, I made my way to the Trinus VR website, where I learned a bit about the features and downloaded the software itself. On the website I learned that Trinus is free to test out on your PC, but if everything works you'll have to pay for the full version. Once you download the software, you'll go through a quick setup where it'll download everything it needs to, as well as show you what you need to do to get the PSVR working. Upon looking at the displayed image, I realized that you basically need to connect the USB and PS4 HDMI cord from the breakout box to the PC. Everything else can remain as it was before. One thing about the USB cable is that you can potentially get an error depending on the type of port you're using. So if you're having issues, then consider switching between 2.0 and 3.0 ports if the option is available to you. For me, I simply had to take the USB cable from the breakout box, then plug it into one of my main USB ports. As for the HDMI cable, make sure you're using the HDMI cable that's labeled HDMI PS4 on the breakout box, and then connect that between the box and your PC. You should have this HDMI cord connecting to one of your graphics cards. If you want to use move controllers, things get much more complicated, so for today I'm just discussing the process behind setting up the headset itself. Once you've set up your headset and fully installed Trinus, you can open up the software and start PSVR tracking. If you're having issues with setup, there is a help tab that teaches you everything you need to know about each aspect of this process. I'd like to quickly address a few more issues you could have while setting things up. First is display issues. If you're running into some sort of visual issue or see an error pop up, go into your Windows display settings and make sure your monitor resolution is set to 1920 by 1080 and that the size of your apps are set to 100%. Another potential issue is conflicting software. If you have other pieces of software that attempt to use the PSVR as a PC VR headset, they can interfere with one another. So make sure that if you're using Trinus VR, that it's the only PSVR related software you have on your PC. And finally, make sure to install the PSVR drivers on the Trinus VR software. You can do this by going into the Advanced tab. If you've gone through all the troubleshooting in the software and the tips I've just mentioned and nothing works, then you're in the exact same boat as I was, meaning that I wasn't able to get Trinus VR to work on my computer at all. After going through the setup, I was greeted with a red screen on the game, and then in the actual headset, it was completely black. Upon researching this issue, I realized that a ton of people can't seem to get Trinus VR to work. And the issue that I had particularly is likely due to Trinus not being compatible with my graphics card as apparently Trinus VR can be sensitive to the card you're using. So this process I explained to you might work on your PC, but for mine it either doesn't work or I would have had to spend hours troubleshooting for a chance of making it work. Which is exactly why I'm not only testing Trinus VR in this video, but another popular piece of software known as iVRY, which I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce, so I'm just going to call it Ivory. Luckily Ivory is pretty easy to access and download as it's on the Steam launcher. Another great thing is that the setup process is the exact same for PSVR, no matter what software you use. As long as you have the USB and PS4 HDMI cables connected between the breakout box and your PC, everything should be good to go. Upon launching Ivory, I was instantly surprised that everything seemed to fall into place, and instantly after launching the app, my PSVR display was working and tracking with SteamVR. Simply go through the SteamVR setup standing mode process, and then you should be in the SteamVR home. After this success, I tested out a few games with Ivory and everything worked as described. Both Subnautica and the Genesis Collection VR were how I hoped. I just had to plug in a DualSense controller to navigate most of the menus and to actually play most of the games. And just like Trinus VR, Ivory has a free trial to test it out on your system, then a paid version if you want to use it normally. Which a lot of people seem to be negative about, but for how easily the setup process was for me, the price of $15 is beyond fair. I just personally won't be using it beyond this video, as I already have a PC VR headset. If you're set on doing this for your PSVR, then I would highly suggest using Ivory. I've tried trying this VR out two times now, and both times I've just run into issue after issue, making it a big hassle to get running. But with Ivory, it was almost an instant plug and play setup. Of course your mileage may vary depending on your hardware, but for me it worked like a charm. Any issues I came across were pretty easy to fix once I understood that the PSVR's display was just acting as another monitor on my PC. For example, I ran into an issue where the game wasn't displaying on the PSVR. 
So when I took off the headset, I realized that the game was displaying on my physical monitor instead of the PSVR. So I just had to move the game screen over to the right and off my physical monitor for it to display on the PSVR. But if you start out doing this with Ivory and it fails, then still give Trinus VR a shot since it might work better for you than it did for me. But now after all is said and done, the real question is if it's worth your time doing this with PSVR. In my opinion, it depends on what you're expecting out of it, because it's not exactly the ideal VR experience. When looking around, it's pretty jittery, the move controllers are hard to set up, and having to switch your PSVR breakout box cables between your console and PC can be a hassle. The one case where I would recommend at least trying this out is if you have a game or a couple of games in mind that you're desperate to play, and if they're games that don't require motion controllers, like Subnautica. Basically what I'm trying to say is just don't set this headset up on your PC expecting to open up a whole new world of VR. I'd describe it more as an option to play a limited selection of games with the PSVR. If you're really interested in the PC side of virtual reality as a whole, then I would recommend either getting a PC VR headset, or if you want a cheaper alternative, pick up the Quest 2 as you can easily stream PC VR games to your headset with full support. At this point in PSVR's lifespan, it's really best to just wait for the PSVR 2, as a lot of the bigger PC VR titles will likely make their way over to the new headset. But for now, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them in the comments below. If you want to if you want to use move if you want to use move controllers things get if you want to move if you want to use move controllers things if you want to oh my gosh